what is up YouTube today we are gonna finally do the motor mounts on this car and give it the attention that it deserves I actually have them they are the I can't say it properly but Mahal maybe whatever mounts um, there is mixed reviews on these I suggest if you can afford it to get Porsche factory mounts but I've had them in that car over there for over a year now and they have held up um so without further ado let's get started so it's probably hard to see um i've done this one time already and i can't remember the steps that i took to do it but basically what we're gonna do is probably take these four bolts out and drop the sway bar down out of the way um you could use a jack with the big big piece of wood on the oil pan to hold the motor <laughs> Or you could probably get it from this power steering mount right here. My car doesn't have it. And then there's a bolt under here and two bolts on each motor mount. And then what I did was I unbolted the subframe and had the bolts in but really loose. Got a pry bar, pried it down, was able to pop each motor mount out. So yeah, let's we'll start doing it. There is a heat shield. The passenger side on these cars is actually the side that usually goes bad. Because you have a motor mount right there. And you have exhaust right there. And they get really hot and they collapse. Alright, with the heat shield out of the way and the sway bar out of the way, I'm going to attempt to do the top bolts from top of the motor you can see the air box out of the way too it's a 13 millimeter got four of them to tackle this is one of those bolts right there just gotta slowly work at it Sorry about the dog, but if you're doing this job, a set of ratcheting wrenches, these guys from Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh, I think it was like 18 bucks for this set and it is worth its weight in gold. Right now I'm pulling out the bottom bolt on the motor mount. I'm getting to it from the cross member and the lower control arm. What? Once I have these two bolts out, one on each side, I'm going to support the engine and start trying to lower the cross member down. Okay, now with the motor supported, you can see I have the subframe unbolted. Um, basically what I'm going to do is without lifting the motor, I'm going to get a pry bar under here and see the sway bar or see the cross member right here pulling out. That should give you plenty of access to get this motor mount up and out of here. I'm trying to do it one-handed with the pry bar. Should also give you just enough room to get the new motor mount. That's it. Should give you enough room to get the new motor mount in. The new motor mount obviously is going to be a little bit taller than the old one. So you need that room. And as you can see, by the color this motor mount has been replaced and it basically is completely collapsed hard as a rock don't have a brand name on it though i'd really like to get the brand name but yeah so let's put the new ones in all right so here's the lineup of motor mounts this is the driver's side as you can see it has been replaced it is not a factory part no part number on the bottom this right here is a OEM German engine mount. It has the part number on the bottom right there. I kind of scratch it off. And as you can see, they're both collapsed. Here is the Mahal, Mele, whatever motor mount. Now, what I want you to see is the height difference. 
right? Look how much taller it is than these. This one's really clapped. The passenger one is always the worst. It's underneath the exhaust. It gets really hot, it gets jacked up. But you can see the height difference. Not only is this bad because it's collapsed and it's just vibrating, but this also keeps your oil pan above your cross member, which is really important, especially if you drive in sketchy areas or roads like we have in San Diego. But yeah, well, let's get this thing back in and I'll report back to you. All right, let's see if I can get back one hand action. See my finger on the pry bar. Doesn't have to move much, just a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the the bottom in the hole and all we gotta do is clear the top from the bottom of the engine. Where is that hole at? Right here, okay. All right, once you're back in here, as you can see, this piece of rubber needs to go in. And you can't really do it too well because, um, sorry, I'm talking because I'm trying to balance this thing. The motor runs away. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get one hand on one side, one hand on the other, push it down. <clears throat> Try to pop it on in there. I'll show you when it's done. All right, literally as soon as I turned the camera off, I had it in, but you can see the rubber is underneath right there. Now, remember, I never lifted the motor up. I just supported it. So you may have to move the motor up a little bit. This oil pan should be flush or above the cross member. But all right, let's put these bolts back in.